Well, I had about 20 minutes of footage of me shaping that big mixing spoon that I thought I could use for this video. However, after about 10 seconds, I picked the spoon up out of the frame and for 20 minutes, I worked with that spoon completely out of the frame where you couldn't see it. So I'll show you a tiny clip of me just being a dummy. I do have footage though of me making the coffee spoon and it turned out really well. So enjoy this footage. Sorry about the other. Hey guys, welcome into the shop. Uh, I am here, got my new Star Wars Auburn sign up, which looks pretty awesome. Uh, I am really excited because the weather is finally cooling off, which means I can wear a long sleeve and not sweat to death out here. Uh, I am going to try to make this coffee spoon and uh, work on video and some for this part two of the spoon making video. Um, I have my template here just kind of roughed out a little bit with a pencil. Um, I got a new saw that I'm going to try to use to cut this thing out with, so we'll see how that goes. Alright guys, so this is my new saw. This is a Japanese style saw and um, it has two sets of teeth on it here. This side has um, kind of coarser cut teeth and it's made for ripping with the grain. So. I will actually use both sides of this saw, but um, this side with the finer teeth is made for cross cutting, so cutting with the grain. So on this spoon right here, I will be trying to use the coarse side to rip this cut here, because I'll be cutting with the grain, and then coming across here with the fine side to do that cross cut, which I will probably do first. Um, so we'll see how this goes. All right guys, so I have clamped my piece up here and I'm gonna try to make these cross cuts on the side here. Um, I think I'm gonna run into my table before I get to the depth that I need, so I'm gonna have to play around with these clamps a little bit, but I think this will work pretty well. Okay, so these saws are, the teeth are insanely sharp. So I try to wear a glove on my non-dominant hand because a lot of times, when I'm adjusting the cut or trying to get the blade just right, I have a tendency to grab. And uh, I was doing that the other day without a glove, and it just, I mean, just even touching it, it got me a pretty good slice. So, safety, make sure you're wearing gloves. Okay, if you will notice with this saw blade, it is incredibly flexible. And that can cause some issue if you're not careful. But because it's so sharp, you really can just get it started and be very smooth with your cuts and uh, you'll get some really straight cuts if you know what you're doing. And these saws cut on the pull stroke so as you pull back the saw cuts and that just kind of helps you get started better and gives you better control throughout the video. Philip is uh, hammering away over there. All right. I'm going to try my best to get this thing started nice and smooth to get a good straight cut. And like I said, sometimes it helps to reach across the top to get it started. But once you get it started, you really just have to get yourself positioned behind the saw well um, and make sure you're pulling straight back as you come across and you'll get a good cut. Just a few seconds in with this thing and I'm really already at the depth that I need. So let me show you the cut that I've made. So you can see there I've ripped it down about the depth that I need. 
or cross cut it and then I'm going to come through and rip that line to connect the two and knock that piece out but you can see if I can get it to focus that cut is very clean this saw really works great when you use it to its right potential first side uh, and it worked out pretty well I got off on the first part so I had to adjust my line you can kind of see that that seam right there um, but I'll clean that up and it shouldn't be a problem so I'm gonna try to really make sure I get this second side really straight and clean shape um, now I'm gonna work on rounding the edges and uh, I'm gonna use this to do that because it just makes it quick but uh, getting pretty close on the shape and then I will cut the bowl out and then cut it in half um, hopefully I haven't cut too much material off to be able to work the piece um, we'll see all right here's the the coffee scoop I've been making. Uh, I've done a really bad job of videoing this. The first time I came out, my phone didn't have a lot of storage and I just didn't get the footage that I needed. But um, I've done a lot of shaping with the Dremel um, and then used my chisels quite a bit as well. But um, it's pretty close to done. I think at this point I'm just going to be smoothing out the surface and uh, cleaning up some edges on the bowl. But this is kind of what it looks like.
has felt like an eternity. I finally have the coffee spoon pretty well finished. Um, I honestly have lost count. I'm pretty sure this is the fifth one I've tried to make. The biggest difference um, in this one turning out so well was this saw right here. I was trying to make, to cut out my shape with a combination of a skill saw and a vibrating saw. And I just couldn't get the precision that I needed. I would end up with a crack or something, but... Anyways, um, I have sanded this thing like crazy, um, and it's pretty well finished. I'm going to put some mineral oil on it, I think, to finish it, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It looks, looks pretty awesome. I finished it with mineral oil, and then I added a little logo here, um, which is backwards when you look at it from the camera but it's uh, the correct way when you turn the spoon backwards but anyways uh just added the initials of capital grain woodworking there this is made out of black walnut and uh, i'm really happy with how this turned out i think it was a, a really difficult project to start with because i really didn't have the right tools but overall it turned out really well it's roughly about a tablespoon that's the size of the scoop i used to mark mark everything out so i think it actually holds a little bit more because i made the bowl a little deeper but um anyways this is it i think it turned out really really well if you made it to the end of this video you are awesome i am actually giving away this coffee spoon somewhere in this video i have hidden a clip of me shouting out a random number and i am going to give this coffee spoon to the first person who can find that number and direct message me on either Facebook or Instagram the correct number from the video. Whoever is the first to get that to me, I will get your info, I'll ship the spoon to you for free, and it will be yours. So, watch the video, go find that number, and then send it to me in a direct message on Facebook or Instagram, and the spoon is yours. Thanks again for watching this video. Have a great one.